Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. I was mad. But you getting that word. I get in that word. And how old were you when you got delivered? He was older. He was 40 something. 47. So you were addicted for 20 something years? Yes. That's what I was Over 25 Over years. 25 let me, let me years. just say this. When you when you got delivered, the, the, you, you, the people got to understand this. And I talked to juvenile kids about this when I went to talk to them the other day. Mm-hmm. He delivers you. He meets you where you're at. That's right. If you don't change, why are you locked up? Because there's things going on in there that show if you change or not as well. Hey, come on now. You see what I'm saying? That's so right. you don't have to wait till you get out. So Did, many people try to make it a wait till you get out. When you get out there, no. If God touch you right where he touch you at, in right. that cell, that's in right. that set, you're going to know. Because it's activities going on around you that pretty much you could condone. That's but right. you don't even feel like dealing with them anymore. I was done. I was done, brother. Man, I got, I've got guys that called me that I was incarcerated with. I've got one brother that called me. He said, Gary Nelson, I just want to know, man, is you the same person that you were when you were, we was locked up? He said, I've called so many of our Christian brothers Correct. that was in the faith part. Mm-hmm. He said, and they tell me, man, I'm singing this, I'm doing that. Yeah. He said, they was in the faith part with us. Yeah. And I said, Joy, I said, man, I was serious. Yeah. I said, that's really, it used to make me so mad when I would see a catch out in there. And, you know, he would kind of make it hard for the people that's yeah. in there. That, yeah. that was really humble. You got a, a wolf with sheep clothing yeah. on mixed in there, yeah. you know, and, he, and, and, and it used to make me so angry. I said, but man, I've got it. I, I, I've got a hold on to it. I've got one brother who I just come from Eastland seeing two days ago. Okay. Uh, he he tells the people and he wants me there <laughs> every time he tells his testimony mm-hmm. because I was in the conversary That's line. Beautiful. I was in the conversary line one day and I was so happy because the money I got was far in between. And I was happy and I was feeling good in the Lord and I was singing a song about old blind Bonham Mills. Oh, I, yeah. I hear the Lord passing by. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and the young man heard me singing the song and when I got through singing the song, he walked over to me and he asked me, he said, sir, can you sing that song again? And I was kind of shy about it, but I sung it for him again. Two weeks later, here come the man in the faith part where I was dragging his bags. He he done got moved from a dorm to wherever he was. He was coming in the faith part. Wow. He said, man, he said, I come over here because I wanted to feel the freedom that I saw you felt in that conversary line. Wow. He said, I want to be set free. Man, I tell you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a revelation to where he's living it today. Where I went, where I went this weekend, it's in, it's in Eastland, Texas. All right. He lived on a golf course, man, wow. where a big lake was because when he came into the faith part, one week later, this particular man that owned the golf course and this he does prison ministry he came to the faith if you're not in the faith part this wasn't for everybody at the prison this was only for the people in the faith part he got to go to the kingdom man retreat out of all the people in the kingdom man retreat the man this is the person that he attracted that draw to the man this wow. particular guy wow. so when he was moved away from the prison the man continued to write him when he got out of prison they let him move to eastland texas to a place they got up there called the redemption house a really nice place he's got a really nice job he lives on a ranch he's doing excellent mm-hmm. all because he heard me singing a song in the commissary line wow, he i'll delivered. hear the lord passing he by he was delivered brother well you know the thing earlier when you was talking just to go back and reflect a little bit you know um what you had when you were talking earlier about being delivered you know and and a lot of people they they, they don't get it you know they get the same blessing because god he, you know, he shined the sunshine on the just and the unjust, and and we know that that this, these things happen. But I, I was tears came to my eyes the other day when I was talking to my brother because I won't let like you coming on here today. I'll have to reach back or say something to somebody to tell you thank you for coming on the show because I thought about those ten lepers that was healed and that one Samaritan that looked back. Yes, you see what I'm saying because everybody can get healed, but everybody out of out of out of ten only one. Only look one. Back. Look back. So, and that's the part you got to be. I want to be that one that that, that that praises God for what he's doing for us, man. That's I've been healed by the Savior, and I felt fire from above, and I've been down to that river, and I ain't the same. I'm a prodigal's return. And all 
of my hope is in Jesus. And thank God my yesterday's gone. And all of my sins are forgiven. Yes, they are. And I've been washed by the blood. I'm no stranger to the prisons. I've worn shackles and chains. But I've been freed and forgiven. Yes, I have. And I'm not going back. I'll never be the same. That's why I sing all of my hope is in Jesus. I thank God my yesterday's gone. And all of my sins are forgiven. And I've been washed by the blood. Man, thank you so much, man. <laughs> all right now. Hallelujah. All right Jesus. now. Say, man, that's what it's all about, yes, man. Sir. When God take you and, and snatch you out the fire. Yes, sir. See, that's that, that's what it's all about. That's what he done. He yes. snatched you from a place where you could have died yes, sir. in your sins. Yes, sir. But you was delivered. And now God has used you and others are being delivered. Yes. You know, and and you just you just don't know what God is going to do. See, your testimony is just was a test. And you went through all of that stuff and you still hear a lot of your friends didn't make it. Uh, yes. And you and you yes. hear. And yes. so with that being said, there's a reason why. You